Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of exponents and radicals, we are going to take up solved questions related to exponential form and radical form. Now we have already learnt in detail in previous video about what is exponential form and what is radical form. Let us just recapitulate it. Exponential form is a raised to the power m upon n and radical form is called nth root of a raised to power m. Now let's start with the first question. Express the following in exponential form. Now these questions which are given to us which we have to convert into exponential form are given in radical form. That means they are in of the form nth root of a raised to power m. Now we have to convert into exponential form which is a raised to power m upon n. That means m which is the power will come in the numerator and the n which is the root will come in the denominator when we will when we will convert into exponential form. Now let's start with the solution. Let's take the first question cube root of 21. Now over here the power of 21 is 1 and the root is 3. So the power becomes the numerator and the root becomes the denominator. So we shall write 21 raised to power 1 by 3. Now let's move to second question fifth root of 265. Now 265 the power is 1 and the root is 5. So we shall write 265 raised to power 1 upon 5. Now the third question cube root of 3 square. Now square is the power of 3. So it will come in the numerator and the root is 3. So it will come in the denominator. So we will write 3 square into 1 by 3 is equal to 3 raised to power 2 by 3. Now let us take fourth question. Eighth root of 5 upon 6 raised to power 7. Now 7 is the power of a base and 8 is the root. Now 7 will come in the numerator and 8 will come in the denominator and we shall write 5 upon 6 raised to power 7 into 1 by 8 is equal to 5 upon 6 raised to power 7 by 8. Now let us take the fifth question. Cube root of 2 raised to power minus 6. Now here the power is minus 6. It will come in the numerator and 3 is the root which will, which will come in the denominator. So we shall write 2 raised to power minus 6 into 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 raised to power minus 2. Now let's move to sixth part. Here cube root of 2 upon 5 raised to power minus 3 is given to us. Minus 3 is the power so it will come in the numerator and 3 is the root which will come in the denominator. So we shall write 2 upon 5 raised to power minus 3 into 1 upon 3. Further 3 and 3 will get cancelled and we are left with 2 upon 5 raised to power minus 1. Now let us move to 7th part. It is given 7th root of 15 by 341 raised to power minus 3. Now over here minus 3 is the power and 7 is the root. So minus 3 will come in the numerator, 7 will come in the denominator and we will write 15 by 341 raised to power minus 3 into 1 by 7 is equal to 15 by 341 raised to power minus 3 by 7. Now let's take 8th part. 7th root of 3 by 11 raised to power minus 5. Again minus 5 will come in the numerator, 7 will come in the denominator and we shall write 3 by 11 raised to power minus 5 into 1 by 7 which is equal to 3 by 11 raised to power minus 5 by 7. Now let's take up second question. Express each of the following as radicals. Now the questions which are given to us are in exponential form and we need to convert into radical form. Again exponential form was a raised to power m by n and radical form is nth root of a raised to power m. Now let's start with the solution. We are given the first question is 17 raised to power 2 by 5. 
Now over here 2 will become the power and 5 will become the root. So we will write fifth root of 17 square. Now let us take up second question. 21 raised to power 1 by 8. Now over here 8 will become the root and 1 is the power. So we will write eighth root of 21. Now third part is given. 25 raised to power 3 by 4. Now over here 3 will become the power and 4 will become the root. So we will write fourth root of 25 cube. Now fourth question is 2 by 9 raised to power 1 by 9. Over here 9 will become the root and 1 will become the power of 2 by 9. So we shall write 9th root of 2 by 9. Now fifth question is 100 raised to power minus 5 by 6. Now over here minus 5 will come in the power and 6 will become the root. Now important point to note over here is minus is always with the power. We cannot have the index as negative. We can have the power as negative because m is always an integer number and index is always a natural number. So we shall write 6th root of 100 raised to power minus 5. Now uh, we will move to 6th question. It is given 8 upon 9 raised to power 3 by 4. Now 3 will become the power and 4 will become the root. So we shall write 4th root of 8 by 9 cube. Now let's take up 7th question. 17 by 231 raised to power minus 5 by 6. Now again minus will come with the power. So we will write minus 5 as the power and 6 will become the index. So we will say 6th root of 17 by 231 raised to power minus 5. Now let's take up 8th question. It is given 15 upon 21 raised to power 2 by 5. Now over here again 2 will become the power and 5 will become the root. So we will say fifth root of 15 by 21 square. Now let's move to question number 3. It is given express each of the following with positive exponent. Now if you observe over here each part is having negative exponent and we have to convert it into positive exponent. So we shall apply law 6 over here that is negative exponent which is x raised to power minus m upon n is equal to 1 upon x raised to power m by n. That means whenever we have to convert any negative exponent to positive exponent we just have to reciprocate the base. Another case we can take where we have rational number as the base we can write x upon y raised to power minus m upon n. So further we can convert it minus m by n as m by n by just reciprocating the base. Now we will write y upon x raised to power m by n. Now let's start with the solution. The first question is x raised to power minus half. Now we have to convert this negative into positive. So we shall apply the sixth law and we will reciprocate the base. We will write 1 upon x raised to power half. Further we can write 1 raised to power half upon x raised to power half which is equal to uh, 1 by x whole raised to power half. Over here again we have applied the fifth law that is the power of quotient which says x upon y whole a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a. Now let us move to the second part x raised to power minus 2 by 5 which is equal to 1 upon x raised to power 2 by 5. So again we have reciprocated the base we have uh, from the numerator it has come to denominator. Further we can write 1 raised to power 2 by 5 upon x raised to power 2 by 5 which is equal to 1 upon x whole raised to power 2 by 5. Now we shall move to the third part. It is given 7 upon x raised to power minus 5 by 6. Now uh, we have an exponent which is negative in the denominator. So to make it positive what we will do is we will reciprocate the base and now x raised to power 5 by 6 will come in the numerator with a positive exponent. So we shall write 7 into x raised to power 5 by 6 is equal to 7 x 5 raised to power 6. Now we shall move to fourth question. It is given x raised to power minus 3 and whole raised to power 4. Now whenever we have two powers inside and outside we multiply both the powers. So we shall write x raised to power minus 12 which is equal to 1 by 
x raised to power 12. Now we will we have actually converted the negative into positive by just reciprocating the base. Further we can write 1 raised to power 12 upon x raised to power 12 which is equal to 1 by x raised to power whole 12. Now let us take up the fifth part. It is given x raised to power half into x raised to power minus 5 by 2. Now according to the first law that is product of powers, whenever the exponents are multiplied, we have to add the powers. So accordingly, we will add both the powers over here and we shall write x raised to power half plus minus 5 by 2. Now further, we shall take LCM. We will write x raised to power minus 4 by 2, which is equal to x raised to power minus 2. Now this is a negative exponent which we shall convert into positive by applying the sixth law that is the negative exponent. So we shall write 1 upon x square. Now further we shall apply the fifth law that is power of quotient and we shall write 1 square upon x square is equal to 1 by x whole square. So over here we have applied the power of quotient that is the fifth law. So hope you have understood all these uh, questions which were related to exponential form and radical form and also we have applied various laws to solve the questions related to positive exponents and negative exponents. So hope you have understood. Thank you everyone. 1 square 